I can't remember the last time I ate. Oh, I'll buy you a sandwich after the exam. Well, I should probably drink a glass of milk, though, right? I, mean, I don't like milk. I actually hate milk. What if the fall hurt the baby, Jason? No, the doctor said you were right. Okay. I know it's dumb to insist on another exam, but I want to be sure. Okay, I just, I want to make sure he didn't miss anything really important. Excuse me. It's the same McCall. She's pregnant. She fell down some steps. Know. Dr. Meadows is her doctor. Hmm. We called ahead. First time parents, huh? <laughs> You've got the luck. Well, not to worry, Dad. Wait here, and I'll get your wife settled into an exam room. Thank you. Dr. Alvarado, Dr. Alvarado, to ICU. It's ironic, isn't it? And the nurse thinks that you're the father of Sam's baby when you're the only one we know for sure is not. No. Bleeding? No, I'm just... a lot of anxiety. Well, you fell down the flight of stairs. Anxiety is an appropriate response. Happily, though, there seems to be no reason for it. But I would like to do an ultrasound just to be sure. Okay. Is the baby's father waiting? I'm sure both of them are by now. Oh. I don't know who the father of my child is. And it's driving me crazy, which is why I want to schedule an amnio as soon as it's safe. I need to know who fathered my child. The baby's all right? The doctor said the heartbeat was good. Did you schedule the amnia on paternity test? Do you have to stay in, in a hospital or... Hey, guys, you know what? The sooner we resolve this, the better. Then we're going to have to hang off, out. You heard please? it. Come on, Jack. Give her a break, will you? Your test results are fine. Now, you mentioned taking an amnio, but I'd like to wait. I want to make sure that you're completely stabilized. Okay. Whatever you say. Is it safe for me to go home now? But not alone. You'll need to have someone around for a couple of days. I'm sure you can work something out. Thank you. You can take the spare room in my apartment. Don't listen to him. Listen, I'm going to hire a nurse, and you can... Uh, stay don't there. even start, please, I just, guys. I can decide this for not, myself. I don't need you. She can stay with me. Oh, well, that's convenient. Right across the hall from Sunny. It's out of the question. For God's sakes, Jax. I am sick of you ordering me around. Stop it. Thank you. I would like to stay at your place. I forgot my bag. Uh, okay. Just, you know what? Here, go inside, make yourself comfortable. I'll be right back. Thanks. Well done. Well done. You managed to maneuver yourself right across the hall from Sunny. Leave no stone unturned. Right, you little slut? All these men lined up, buying you a load of crap with your innocent little I have no idea how this could happen to me act. You do not fool me. You manipulated this from day one. You honestly think I wanted to get pregnant and not even know by how? Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, I honestly do, except for the part where you don't know who the baby's father is because you lined up those odds strictly in Sonny's favor. This pregnancy is an accident, Carly. Oh, bull. It was a calculated attempt for my husband. It was a direct attack on my family. You have declared war on me, Sam, and believe me, you are way out of Carly, your league. Carly, it's enough. No, it is not nearly enough, In order Jason. to keep some kind of peace, I suggest the two of you go out of your way to avoid each other. Yeah, well, you should have brought her someplace else then. They all think I got pregnant on purpose. Carly, Courtney, Jax, even Sonny. They think that I would, would have to stoop to some level of trapping some man. Any man as long as he had Why money, right? Why do you right? care what people think when you know the truth? Well, what about you, Jason? Do you believe me when I say I didn't deliberately get pregnant? Yeah. Thank you. You have no idea how much that means to me. 